Today we are using lemongrass to make three different kinds of teas, all of which are comforting, cozy, and that provide all those amazing lemongrass benefits while tasting absolutely delicious. Lemongrass is a great perennial herb that also has medicinal benefits. There are studies that show that it can have antihypertensive, antioxidant, and anti-inflammatory properties, which aid in hunting free radicals that may cause disease. It also contains compounds like citral and geranial that help in preventing the release of certain inflammation causing markers in the body. Before you start making the tea, harvest fresh lemongrass from your garden, chop it and wash it thoroughly with clean water and it is ready to be used for your tea recipes. Boil two cups of water in a saucepan and add three tablespoons of lemongrass in the water and boil the water with the lemongrass for five minutes. Once the water is done boiling, the lemongrass leaves will change color from a bright green to a dull green in color. After five minutes, turn off the heat and cover the saucepan with the lid and steep the tea for about a minute. Now drain the herbal tea in teacups. Add one teaspoon of honey or one teaspoon of sugar and a teaspoon of lemon juice in each cup and stir to mix it. Enjoy this absolutely piping hot. Add two cups of water to a saucepan and in it add two tablespoons of lemongrass, one teaspoon of grated ginger, four cloves, four black pepper, stick of cinnamon, two pods of cardamom, one bay leaf and start the heat. Boil the water until it is reduced to one half of the original amount. Turn off the heat at this point and steep the tea for one minute. Pour it into a teacup and add one teaspoon of sugar in each cup. Enjoy piping hot. Boil one and one half cups of water in a saucepan. Add one stalk of chopped lemongrass, half of the grated ginger, about half tablespoon, and boil all of it for one minute. Add two tablespoons of black tea powder. Boil the tea with the water and reduce the heat and simmer for one minute. If you're adding non-dairy milk, Strain tea at this point and then add hot non-dairy milk to it. If you're using whole milk, add half a cup of milk and simmer for two minutes. Strain and add one teaspoon of sugar or per your taste in each cup. Serve hot. This recipe will make two cups of chai. All the teas are finally ready and we're going to test out how each of them tastes against each other. And something that mom and I thought about that would be fun to do is we've always had these individually, but we've never tried them together and tasted and tried out which one we like the best. So we are going to do go from light to dark. So we're doing the lemongrass lemon tea, then the kada, and then the lemongrass ginger chai. So these are all of mom's recipes and they're all of my favorite. I love the gi lemongrass ginger chai. That's my all time favorite. But whenever I'm sick, I have a cold, I do love the kada uh, and to end my night because it doesn't have any tea powder in it. So it's a herbal tea. Basically, it doesn't have any caffeine in it. And the lemongrass lemon tea is a new tea for me. I had never tasted that before. And mom just recently made it for me and I loved it. So I was like, oh, let's include that in the video when we're making the lemongrass ginger chai. So I'm gonna start with that one first. Mom, you wanna yeah, try? Yeah, we'll also try. Okay. 
pictures. Mmm. Oh, I like it. It's, it's really like really refreshing. Exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking about. It's very refreshing. Feels light and um, delicious, and it feels it feels like a little bit like summer in winter. <laughs> it feels it gives you that feeling because of the lemon and the lemongrass, the flavors. It feels like you are in the middle of the summer afternoon in winter, and it's winter right now. I love it. Hmm. I really like this. If you have to rate it from one to ten, one being the worst and ten being the best, how much would you rate the lemongrass lemon I tea? I love this uh, lemongrass lemon tea. <laughs> how so much are you gonna rate it? Give it like eight. Eight? Uh, I think yeah. I'm I'm at eight point five. I really like it. Okay, the kada. Kada. Okay, let's go, mom. It's like an immunity booster. Yes. Very Cheers, nice. mom. Yeah. Here's to good health for everyone. Mm. Oh, you just feel that the spice. the spice burn. It feels so good. Oh, this this is the best thing, especially if you have like a light cold or you know you're getting sick, and you know you start feeling that itchiness in the throat. This is the tea to make because it just opens up all your senses, makes you feel so much better, um, especially with like a, a upcoming cold or even a lingering cold. Mm, feels so good. Mm. If I have to rank, rank it, mm, I would do an eight point five for this one too. What about I, you? I'll do like eight eight point five. Eight point five. So you like this better than the other one? Because this is more um, uh, useful for our health, like uh, in cold and cough and cold. Mm -hmm. That's why I give. Okay, that makes sense. Eight point five. And the last one is lemongrass ginger chai. This is the one everybody's been asking me for ever since I posted the lemongrass preserving video and the harvest and pruning video. Oh my gosh, so many of you have asked for this chai. So finally, it's here. Um, let's try it out. Hopefully, you all love it as much as we do. So, Mama, cheers. Cheers. I love this chai. All right, cheers, everyone. Mm. We used to drink this chai daily. This is so good. Daily in the morning and in the afternoon. I love it. <laughs> I love it too. It is really good. Mm. I get 10 out of 10. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Okay. I, I think I would rank it 9.5 too. I, I love this one. This, this would be definitely my favorite out of all of them. I love them all though. It's very hard to pick. I would pick each of these for different, different times. Yeah. The lemongrass lemon tea, I feel, is a great afternoon tea. Like, you know, if, like, uh, if you don't want caffeine, especially for people who are having problems sleeping and you don't want to have caffeine in the afternoon, this is a great tea for you because it is so light and amazing and it still perks you up a little bit. Yes, yeah. Because I of the... Agree with that. I agree with you. Yeah. The second one I feel is like more when I know I'm, I'm falling sick or I, I feel like I need some extra boost of immunity, then I feel like this one is better. The kada. It's like a, a go-to in our household if anybody gets sick. If you're visiting us and you get sick, mama will make you kada. <laughs> and the ginger tea, obviously. That's the best one. Oh. All right, I hope you all get to make th these delicious teas and also enjoy them. Let me know which one's your favorite down in the comments below. Thank you everyone and have an amazing, amazing day. Happy chai drinking.